Hello, my name is Ben. Happy welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. Um, thanks a lot for the good uh, reactions on my last video for how to read a dead net. So still watch the video and click on it. Uh, give a thumbs up and give me some comments would be nice. Today we will solve an issue together with an iPhone Pro, uh, iPhone 11 Pro, which was mailed in by a customer because he said my NAND is dead, the NAND is broken. Okay, he already opened the phone, it's not a shop, it's a private customer, but he already opened, uh, opened the shop here. <laughs> it isn't a shop and he already opened the device, okay? So, let's see. Here we are. Customer mailed the phone in like that. So, you see the back side is damaged and the front side I don't know if the if the screen works okay and we have a crack in the net so let's see directly under the microscope and you can see we have a crack in the net so and at the moment it's pretty hard to get GSX data or sometimes it's hard I got a GSX data for that device so the device was mailed in and uh, the customer already wrote that the NAND has cracked so we need a GSX data now we got the GSX data and I can start with the repair okay so we have to take out this old NAND we have to place in a new NAND um, and we have to write the right data onto the NAND okay so we just disassemble the device You see there are no screws in it. I didn't uh, done anything regarding on screws. Customer just mailed it in like that. Okay, we got the board out and now I think it should be pretty pretty good or pretty easy and pretty fast to just take out the NAND and replace that NAND with another one. But we have to write the right GSX data onto the NAND. Okay, so let's take a board holder. And let's start the challenge. Okay, what about temperature? Good. So. And let's remove the glue. And if we can arrange that now, just move away the glue sticks, the foam around the FPCs. Perhaps we can do the same here. Yes, that's pretty okay. Good. And now let's start by just taking out that beautiful cracked NAND. Okay, we have to take out the clue, like we do in all our repairs. It's a lot of work regarding to glue cleaning.
done. And now we just take out the NAND. So just take some hot air and heat up the land. Done. As you see, always be fast. Okay, let's add some flux here and let's clean by using some wick and some solar paste. David is sick today, he has no corona but he isn't in the house today, so we have to work much more here. So, after cleaning the NAND, or after taking out the solder, it's just cleaning, and then Then we can just clean the surface. Like this. Always gently to don't rip any small components around. And don't rip any pads here. But the pads are, are strong and big, so this shouldn't be a problem. Always turn the board under your microscope so you can better work on it. That is my way to do. I don't know how you do. Perhaps you can give a comment how you work. Would be pretty interesting.
So now we remove the clue. Pads are pretty okay like this. Uh, Dennis? Dennis, gehst du bitte ans Telefon? Gehst du bitte ans Telefon, danke. So, and now we are just on programming a new NAND. So. Okay, we just... Uh, geh bitte runter zum Andi dann, ne? Ich habe keine Zeit. Okay. So. No, it doesn't want to take my my window, my JC window here. Ah, okay, here it is. Great. So. Um, I placed in the NAND. Here you can choose the model. iPhone 11 Pro. Bitte klär's zum Andi, ich bin im Video, okay? Danke. So, and we can read the NAND here. Confirm. Wart bitte, bis er fertig ist. Sag, es dauert kurz. So. Reading the sysconfig file. And then I can already take my data out here. So I should have my data here. Okay. waiting for the AI server to respond. It takes two minutes. Okay. That is just about waiting some time. And after that we can just modify the data like the serial and the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth MAC address. Er ist das, Andi. Haben wir da. So, we are on 56%, just waiting some time. I know that waiting is always such a time, such a thing which... Uh, which is making us making us sick but it's okay we have to wait okay about 60% ich 60% This is starting at the denants from the iPhone XS. It's all a little different. Okay, so we just save it like that. And now we just add another serial. Then we change color. We take another Wi Fi address. And we take another Bluetooth address. Okay, after we did that, we just go to modify and confirm, and then we go to write sysconfig, and we write the sysconfig with the modified data to a good NAND. Okay, so while that, I just show the correct NAND to you under the microscope. So Here we can see the correct NAND. And let's see if the board is good and really only the NAND correct. You see that? It's really pretty crazy. Here you can see the crack. Here. It's really, <laughs> really crazy to see. So now we just need to wait some time 
until the AI server responds uh, uh, and we can just take out the new NAND reboil it and get it down to that board so this repair is much more time for waiting as time for repair itself but I don't want to cut videos to edit videos you know that so we have just to wait for it I think it's not a problem Dennis 75 75 passt Dennis 75, 75, bekommst du hin? Bis um 3. Ja, erstmal programmieren, erstmal programmieren. Wie viel? 150? Ah, nee, lass mal, lass mal. Gleich sprechen wir. So, start writing the encrypted data and succeed. Okay. This looks good. We can take out the NAND now. And we can have a look for it. So, okay, just a little reboot. And we can get it back to the board. Okay, paste. Here we are. Just taking some contact cleaner, adding some flux onto the heated NAND. And that's pretty okay for place it back to that board. Let's place it. A1 is on the bottom left. That's okay. And now it's all about soldering that tiny IC down. board takes a lot of feet like you see okay done okay, I see some dirt in the connector just take it out cooling down the whole board just get it to the dust absorber. And let's check if we can work with that fold again. Okay. Here we are. Clean a little bit. Looks good. Place it in. Yeah.
Come on, baby. Let's get the flexes in here. So this flex matches, this flex matches, this, this, yeah. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. And here we are. Just connecting the screen. And connecting the front flex. Front flex cable. Now we can connect one time the power supply, just for seeing value. Looks good. Now it's all about connecting it to the PC. And I hear three U tools. I device and here we are. We have the iPhone 11 Pro. I just want to do it like that. Go flash and quick flash mode. There are no user data. So want to switch here so you can see that an apple is coming. Just need some time. Oh no, it failed from switching from the DFU to recovery mode, I think. Perhaps it was a bad connection to the PC and the recovery mode. And perhaps this repair gets more exciting now. Okay, we can't switch from DFU to recovery. That's pretty interesting, I think. Okay, we had a cracked NAND. I didn't control the rest of the board because it was mailed in like, just please only switch the NAND. Okay, but I think it isn't just switching the NAND. So, normally if you see damages like that, the board has been bent or some more things have been, have been affected. And you see that? Here we have a bend. I didn't take a look before. Here we have a bend in the board. Okay. I didn't took a look before because it was only please change the NAND. Okay. Let's see. We will. Oh. Before we will do anything, Andy, can you please give me the screwdriver the VHA set? This would be great. Have to change something. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's take a look how far we can get the preheater onto here. Okay. Last time I used it for an iPhone 11, not for a Pro. So it's like just switching the screws here. And waiting a short time until we can lift up the top layer board. And here we can see that 
you can see that the board is bent okay the board is bent let's check if we can get that without a swap or if we have to swap Here we are, and what we are seeing now is just, I think, a lot of loose pads here. Okay, okay, okay. You see that? A lot of loose pads, which are ripped out of the board here. Okay. Okay, oh. let's see what we can do. What is hot? Okay. Now it's about cleaning. Okay, let's check for the bottom layer. Jo, mir hatte Probleme mit der Telefonanlage. Genau, jetzt funktioniert es. Okay, great. Good looking. Let's check how many pads we have to jump. How many pads we have? I think a lot of crown pads will be gone for sure. So, but perhaps some important pads are ripped too. So before we come down here, there is this point, then these two here, next beside. Okay. Let's check by using the multimeter. Okay, here is crowned, but here not. Crowned, 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 all is beeping here. Important, important, important. Ground, important, important, ground. Okay.
Oh, and coming over here, you can see a lot of. Here you can see a lot of pets, and this is a point where I have to say. One, two, three. Okay, these are crowned. Here is an important one. Here are two. Does it make sense to just jump at that or to just swap the top layer fast? What would you do in this case? So we had the NAND already out, so it's only about the CPU and the logic ROM. And um, this would be all. So let's see if I have a good swap board here. Let's see if I have a good swap board here. No, this is not good. But if I have a good swap board here, it would be just just fast to swap the top layer. Yeah, and I think this looks this looks pretty okay. Okay, so if we swap the top layer, I think we are just a little faster. So, I would say we just prepare the swap board and in this case for me it makes more sense to swap the logic board, the top layer, as to do it not. So, you can even do these 10 or 15 jumpers if you want to, but I think we can be a little faster if we do it like that. And it's all about just being as fast as possible. Okay. So we're just cleaning the board. It was already used before for data recovery swap. Then checking the value to see if all is good with the board. And if all is good, we can just use it for a swap. Otherwise, we have to set jumpers. Clean the board. Turn. Just want to have flat pads. That's pretty important, like here. If I see that pads are not flat enough, I just have to scrape them a little bit more flat.
looks good. Now we check the value on power supply. And before I think this is GLS. You should have a big package. Das kann unten stehen. Der Elektrokamin. Ja, yeah, the value is great. Value is 4 milli 4 milliamps and that's pretty okay without CPU and without NAND. So we can lift up the CPU and for sure the NAND on the on the old board. If I find it here. Does anybody see the board here here we have okay so and now we just lift up the CPU fast I don't care about the board anymore now. Because this board is really hardly damaged. And I want to see the CPU. Because of the of the hard impact, I want to see if the CPU on the bottom is okay. So if we lose some small parts here, it's it's not bad. <laughs> Normally we don't even need to remove the clue here. We could take out the CPU without doing that. But it's just like, I do it always like that. Now I just take out the logic ROM fast and get it to the other board. Okay, done and swap it to the other board. Okay, done. Again, some hot air, okay. And just... Okay. Just pretty okay. Take the board to the side. Take another nozzle. I think that some people uh, would be happy to see me here doing a lot of jumpers, but... This takes too much time now, I don't want to do. I take it out like that. And 
I want to see the bottom of the CPU. Okay. Looks pretty okay, I think. Good. Do we have some space here at this preheater for getting the CPU in? Yes, we have. I've never did before in this platform, but I like to try. Can I do it in here? doesn't work this side oh perhaps perhaps it works let's see just want to use some preheat some paste but I don't know if I can. Okay, I can take it out fast later. That's pretty important for me. Don't like to do it here. Within, but where's my eye brush? <sighs> Next, beside to the bottle of repair, I think. Not a problem. I will take another preheater for doing that. I have to switch here. We do it by using this preheater. Just have more, more space here to do that. Okay, and I just need to take my brush. One second, because this glue is really hard. Sorry, but I had to take my eye brush for finishing this job. Why do I take it? Because 
the clue is really really hard here and I can take out the clue much better if I use my brush here I know a lot of other people who do that just by using hot air but that's not my way so. and you see this clue is really hard sometimes you have a really soft clue but in some cases the clue is really hard as fuck and if it's like that you have to work on that really really carefully don't damage anything and to take it off okay done And it's just using a knife to clean the CPU around. And I think this looks great. Okay. some flux CPU. Here is some flux missing. Without flux, is, it won't work. Now the solder is done. And this looks good like you see, okay? Waiting a short time. And brush it again. Looks good. Clean. Sides too. Use some air. The table looks really ugly. Now let's see. This looks pretty okay, I think. Okay, should look like that. And now we can do a reboot. Just 
taking the right stencil. I have to search for it. A12 baby. Oh, sorry, A13. A13. There you are. Should be here. Yes. Yes. Okay. Should look like that. Great. Now some paste. Fresh out of the box. This is a long video, people. About one hour already. Ich bin im Video. Verstehst du das? Okay. So. Clean it with a wipe. And after that, do the reboot. Okay, looks good, I think. Wait a short time. Okay, here I see something which I don't like this year. Here, one ball popped off from another point and came here. Okay, it came from the middle. It came from here and jumped here. Okay, now it looks good. So something like that, always control around the caps here. Because here it can happen sometime. So that's not a problem. Okay, use some air. Have a look on it again. And see it looks fine. Use some more flux. one solar joint which is laying here see that so now it has gone and this is always what I said Take a look 
at the point where the caps are situated because sometimes a little rest of solar jumps. And then you got things like that. So always around these points, okay? You can see here, it's exactly like was here. We have it here. Slightly cut. And the rest here looks pretty good, I think. Here we have one. Okay. Here. Okay, looks good, looks good, looks good here. Is it's only this year done? And for me, it's really important that I go do this optical control because I don't want to risk any problems in the future just by don't controlling that. Okay, so around these, this looks good. Sorry for the convenience, people. Now it's all about sitting this to the new board. Just a picture and then before we just swap the end over. then we should have a working device. Wasn't that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we take out where I have my here. Here I have the board. Oh, it's fucking crazy in here. So taking out the NAND again it's always if I have such a great reball and then you see that at some points it was about was about solar which came over from the from these little pads well can happen sometime Hey, come over. Okay. And you see these bolts are fat enough. Just coming down here. Dennis. Done. And now Andy has a whole of fuck today because David isn't here. And now we have to sit down the CPU again. Just taking a quick shot.
and we need to sit CPU down in the right position here. Usually I only do it with my hands, but the board is pretty hot at the moment. Okay, I just cool down the board a little bit because then I can sit it with my fingers and that's much easier for me. So it should be cooled down enough. Okay, and now it's all about soldering down. See the flux comes out at the sides. And now it's okay. CP was sitting perfectly on placing it with the hands. Huh? Good. So I just clean the stencil while I'm waiting for cooling down. And then we just take a look by using a jig for the iPhone 11 Pro because I don't want to reboil the board now within this video it's done video time was long enough now the board is pretty hot Okay, place it down. Take a look by using power supply. So we have no short. That's pretty okay. We're well, no short on VCC or bad VCC. Now we just check for a boot. This looks like DFU and this is like it should be. Okay. Now we just, oh, okay, we just need to connect now to the housing, to the lightning plug, then we need to use power supply for battery and before we need to connect the screen, okay, screen. Or I can give you to the on hands camera. Hello. Okay. Screen. Connecting the screen. Hey, it's more work to connect with flex cables than to do the CPU. Come on over here. Okay, great. And now just something like that. Something like that for power. And a cable. That's pretty crazy. Okay, like that. And now, yeah, we have recognition in 3U. And we can go to the quick flash mode and ring recovery. And you can see the screen is broken, so I will take another screen so you can see that 
it works. So I will, yeah, sending ISP. Oh, I can show it to you in that way. Uh, I give you that, okay, and then that. So and we have an apple now. So I need to switch again from this to that. So we have an apple. This screen has a particular error here, but it can show the apple. And now the phone restores. So I think at this point, after one hour and six minutes, we can finish this long video. Just for you to see, some cases are not as fast as you think. Okay, so we got a broken, w we had a broken NAND originally here. Okay, it was a broken NAND and um, it was cracked. So I didn't have a look for the board if anything is banned because I just didn't thought like that. I just, okay, take out the NAND, place in another and if an error occurs, then you can solve the rest. Okay, then we um, just took out the board and we saw we have a lot of ripped pads between the board halves and we had a little bend. So no problem, just swap the CPU to another board, to another top layer board. We uh, ha have an end with the correct GSX data and we unbind Wi-Fi and everything and now it's just restoring. After restoring I will reball the board and I will get it back together and the customer will have a fully working phone. I hope you liked the video. It was a long video for the start of the week. We see us with the next week. You know I only do one video a week now. Not mo more because it takes a lot of time. Okay, my Apple Watch just fucks me up. Okay. Uh, by the way, you should register to Fixdesk. Fixdesk is a repair management software including POS and billing module. Uh, it is English too, so check it out if you are living in Germany. Just take that. In my opinion, the best uh, system on the market, my opinion, okay? I don't say it's the best, it's only my opinion. And you should take an ICC Pro. If I have something here on my wired table, I don't have one here, but buy an ICC Pro, everybody knows, like that tool here. I think a tool which every technician in the whole world needs. And um, yeah, we see us with the next video. I would be happy to see you at our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. Um, if you're working at a smartphone repair maintenance industry or leading a shop, you can easily enter the group. Okay, I'm out and we see us with the next video. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the content. Goodbye, peace, use Ben.